Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Weekend of Weekly Pickups for Polish Gaming. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little bit suited up this week. Going to head off to a 40th tonight. Thanks to Oppo Suits for the Pac-Man um, Pac Alpha. I bought it through then. I'm actually pretty stoked about how it came out. Looks pretty good. Not at sure, entirely sure if you can see the whole lot of me, but um, yeah, fits real well. So um, without further ado, now this one might be a little bit harder this week because um, I've got quite a lot of the bundle um, come in and it was, um, it's a, I, I did put the price up there, so my handwriting's shocking, so most likely I'm probably probably going to screw up the price a little bit, but um, I, I, from what I can see, I think I can work it out for you. So uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll get into it. So this week we've got two games that came from Trade Me on this one. I actually forgot to mention the person who bought them, but uh, we got Don King um, Prize Fighter. Now I'm most likely going to have to actually put them down there because there's not much room this week. Don King Prize Fighter, that one was there, eight dollars, pretty good one there um, to get to the collection. Uh, Golden Compass, this one was twelve dollars. Now this one I had to, I actually didn't have a manual for my other one, so this one, this one's just pretty much an upgrade, and then I'll sell off the other one on my Trade Me account. Uh, that's what I was pretty stoked about. Uh, this one I got for ten dollars fifty from another uh, for this one from another Trade Me member. Uh, this actually comes with everything on it. It even comes with Liberation um, DLC. Whether or not that works, I'm just happy to actually have the physical uh, the physical copy the, the, the physical brochure for it, so that I can actually um, yeah, it basically in a sense completes it. But you're pretty happy with that one. That's the uh, American Saga: Brave New World, uh, Birth of the New World. This one comes with uh, Assassin's Creed Three, Assassin's Creed Four, and Liberation. That one is the second to last one that I need. I just need a double pack and I'll complete the whole Assassin's Creed collection with a 360. Uh, next one here, Need for Speed Pro Street. Now, this one here, oh, actually, yeah, I did say 1050 that one. Uh, this one here is 1550. Now, I had the classics and this is the last Need for Speed that I needed. Don't know why I hadn't got this earlier, but this one was a little bit harder to find. Seems a bit pricier, don't know why. But great game, thousand that. It was um, actually, no, I think I didn't because there's a glitch. No, that's carbon. And this one I did thousand. So yeah, pretty fun game. I used to love that one. Uh, next one here, this was a single purchase from Trade Me. Now this one was $8. It's a little bit pricier than you normally would go for a poker game, but needed for the collection and it doesn't come up too often. Now, next one here is going to be actually, this is the bundle deal what I got from Highly Suspect from Trade Me here. I've actually been liaising with him quite a lot lately um, in terms of his deals. I think he was moving shop, so he put a lot of stuff for $10 reserve, and yeah, I tried to get as much as I could from him. So, this one here is, um, uh, we've got Second Samurai for the Mega Drive. That one there is $76. Pretty good to have any Mega Drive stuff really come in. Um, WRC4, this is the last of the WRC series. This is number, uh, this cost me $10. Uh, yeah, he had up to 30, got it down to 10, so I'm pretty happy with that one. It's the last one that I need out of the five. Uh, Snipers, this is $10.50, this one here. So, um, yeah, it's, I haven't actually played it. I played most of the Sniper Ghost Warriors, but not that one. Uh, Rapala for Connect, this was another $30 one, but he had it down to $10. So I ended up getting that for $10. For some reason, no one was bidding against me. I do believe this might be the French version, but what's weird is the it's English starting and then French on the second part of the manual. Everything's in French, even like every, everything is in English, but it's also in French. So I'm guessing that it might just be a European version there. Uh, next one here is Pop Cap, uh, Pop Cap Hits Volume 1. This is another $10 game. Pretty good to get that one. Those, that one definitely doesn't come up often. Uh, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. This one here is, seems to be a little bit harder to get. Same as Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2. Uh, this one here is 20... Wait, let me have a look. I believe it is $21, this one. Um, and MotoGP 14. This one here is $14. I'm oh, sorry. No. <laughs> MotoGP 14. It's $10. Another $10 game. Once again, another $10 game. Monster Madness. Pretty happy to pick this one. Seems to always sit relatively about 20 and I don't really want to pay that much. Uh, Just Dance 2016, this one's to $10.50, but unfortunately, the manual looks like it's literally being crumpled up by, this looks like it's being completely crumpled and then pulled out back together and tried to be restraining. So we'll be looking at a manual exchange for that one. Uh, this is the last of the Dragon Balls that I needed for the whole Dragon Ball set. This puts me to, oh, well, all of the Dragon Ball, a part of the 360. So Battle of Z, this one cost me $36.13. A little bit more than I was wanting to pay, but it seems to sit around about the $30.40 range. So happy to have it. Uh, Baku Gun there, that's another $10.50, 10 I believe. Yes, $10.50 Baku Gun. Uh, that's Defenders of the Core. I needed that one. Uh, and then we'll go, actually, I've moved it. I've actually done it wrong here. Hold on. Uh, next one here is an actual limited edition of Splinter Cell Blackness. This is the Ultimatum Edition. This one comes with a pretty nifty watch in it. I got that one for $10. I was pretty stoked with that. It's actually really good condition. Uh, and the last from Highly Suspect is Brothers in Arms House Highway Limited Edition. This one here comes with a cool little, um, I don't know, I'll show you, cool little figurine map and, uh, and a 
a little note back. It's been open, but it's still pretty good condition to have all the guns and everything like it. So pretty stoked to get that one um, there. I don't normally collect collector's editions, but when, when they're relatively cheap, I grab them. Uh, that, oh, can't get this cut. Um, yeah, so, but, no, that's why. Oh my gosh, I hate when they do this. Yep, there you go. Uh, yeah, and so basically that one there, would that one is $27, so that was a pretty good deal to get. Uh, next one, we're going to here. Uh, where did I go? Yes, okay, so I'm over here. So next one is from Kent Maynard from New Zealand Retro Gamers. He was actually got an upgrade for his Midway uh, uh, Greatest hit, Arcade Hits. This one's a little bit sun faded on the side, and the manual's a little bit torn, plus a hinge missing, but... He paid um, 70 for his, so he sold it to me for 70 So that's a pretty good deal. I'm happy to have that. I'll upgrade later on. And the next one here, is, this one is from Guy Rainey, uh, $20 for Tomb Raider. This puts my collection pretty close to completion. I think I need one more, which is the last one, either the last Revelation or... Wait, which one? No, I've got last Revelation, so I've got Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3, last Revelation. I need the last. I can't remember what the last one is, but this is a big box one. Big box, one CD. Nothing in the back. Just weird they do it like that. But that's pretty cool. Thanks, Guy Rainey, for that one. Next one is another NZ Retro member, Chris uh, Chris Whitejourn. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He actually has a YouTube channel. I can't, can't for the life of me actually remember his YouTube channel at the moment. But yeah, um, yeah, I'll put that in. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know later on next time on that one because I'm sure to get, I'm getting a bundle from the next week. So I'll let you know on that one. Uh, this one here is $20 for Buffy. Uh, Buffy Chaos. This is the second one. Uh, then the Hunters, Hunter the Reckoning. This was $15. And the last Buffy the Vampire Slayer here, this was $20. Unfortunately, it didn't come with a CD. I figured that most likely he's testing him out, just forgot to put him back in because the picture did show up with it. Message him and he says, no problem, that'll come with the next package. Oh, actually, I fully forgot about Rainbow Six 3. This one was, I believe, $16 for the GameCube. I forgot that was actually from Highly Suspects. A little bit damaged at the back, but hey, I don't have too much um, GameCube, so it's always good to get it. Uh, next one here is, this one goes on to uh, Undefined, I believe it's Undefined, yeah, yeah, I think it's Undefined, a reseller, I believe he's out in Pukekohe, uh, yeah, so starting off here, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2, I've got Gundam 1, so I just need the third one, and I'm complete on that, All-Star Cheerleading, this one here, oh, sorry, that was, that was $13.67, this one here, uh, $6.70, probably not worth that, but hey, need some kind, needed some filler stuff this week, now here comes the Wicked Filler, after this, it is just utter garbage for the DS, but yeah, so we got Little Shop, that, um, oh, sorry, Sims, that's $6.20, uh, Littlest Pet Shop, that one there is, oh, that is $6.20 as well, both Imagine's Interior Designer and Rescue Vet, these ones were both $4.70 for the, um, $4.70 each, uh, this I Love Beauty, uh, this was a $4.40 one, Hannah Montana the Movie, $6.70, $70. Yeah, $6.70 this one. Uh, Dogs, this one is $6.20. That's actually a pretty cool game <laughs> for this. Uh, the two Charm games here that I've got, this one is, I believe, one of them is $3.70 and one of them is $4.70. But both Charm one, I didn't get the last one that he had, which was part of the three set, but uh, unfortunately didn't have a manual. And last but not least, this is, I've left this to last because I'm absolutely stoked to get this. Uh, from Dale Wilson, part of NZ Retro here. He's got another one. I'm happy to have that. $55 for Rampage. Pretty cool. Even got its Warehouse 999 sticker on it. I'll leave that on there for a bit of nostalgia purposes. Uh, happy for that. That puts me down to 300. So I'm, I'm at 300. 30 more left for the Masters. I thought I had 33. That was going to make it 32. But turns out 30 left. So getting very close. And the second game that I got from Dale was X-Men. Uh, I'm stoked to get this. I've got Clone Wars. I've got Spider-Man vs. X-Men with this X-Men. That pretty much completes all of the X-Men uh, set. I'd love to get all the Marvel games from me Mega Drive. I'm an absolute Marvel fan, so this is great to get. This one I got for 60. Other oh, Rampage I got for 55 as well. So yeah, that pretty much um, sums us up for this week. Pretty stoked with like my suit that I've got. I feel pretty fly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going on 40th tonight for my uh, one of my best mates. So that's going to be a great night. And um, this is this is the entire war. The theme is feeling fabulous. So I do feel fabulous in this. And um, yeah. Hopefully next week we've got a little bit more. I think I've got a couple coming next week, but it might be a bit slim pickings, but I'm sure I'll be able to find something via cash converters or something like that. So yeah, um, tune in next week. Uh, hope to see you there next week, and you guys have a good day. See you later.